Hi, I'm Denise. Thank you for watching my video. Today I'm going to talk about the K sound. This represents the sound K. In this video, I will talk about how to make the sound. I will also tell you which letters make the sound. I will give you some examples of words which contain the sound. I will also compare this sound with a related sound, the g sound. I will compare some words containing each of these sounds. And I will also give you some sentences containing the k sound. Okay, let me begin. I will begin by talking about how to make this sound. The sound k is a stop sound. That means that we momentarily stop the air from coming out of our mouth. We do that by raising the back of our tongue. And once we release the tongue, the air comes out and the sound is made. So if we pretend that this is my tongue, this is the tip of my tongue or the front of my tongue, this is the back of my tongue. So if I turn my head this way, remember this is my tongue, <laughs> so if I raise the back of my tongue and I let it touch the roof of my mouth like this, that is what stops the air. As soon as I lower my tongue, the air comes out of my mouth. So I raise my tongue, stop the air, lower my tongue, the air comes out. That makes the sound. The k sound is a voiceless sound. That means that my vocal cords do not vibrate when I make this sound. We have a, a similar sound, the g sound, which does use the vocal cords. So the two sounds, k and g, are made in a similar way by raising the tongue in the same way. But again, this sound, the k sound, is voiceless. I do not use my vocal cords. The other sound, the g sound, is voiced, so I do use my vocal cords. If you would like more information about voicing, please see my consonant overview video. In that video, I talk a lot about voicing. Uh, but voicing is one of the aspects of making this sound. Another thing about this sound is that when we make it, when we release the tongue, so we lower the tongue and actually release the air, we release a strong puff of air that is called aspiration. So the k sound, this sound, is an aspirated sound. Let me show you. When I make the k sound, I release a strong puff of air. And we can see that if I use a piece of paper in front of my mouth. When I make the sound, the paper will move because the air that comes out of my mouth moves that paper, it blows onto the paper. So watch. K. K. Cat. Cake. So you should be able to see that my paper is moving when I make that sound. With the related sound, the g sound, the paper does not move as much. So although these are related sounds, there are some differences. Try not to confuse the k sound with the g sound. Now I would like to talk about which letters make this sound. There are several letters which make the k sound. The k sound is made with the letters C, K, Q, and X. The letter C is the most common, but the letter C can also make other sounds. The letter C 
makes the k sound when C is followed by either A, O, or U. For example, cat, cot, cut. Here, the letter C is followed by A, so it makes, so C makes the k sound, cat. Here, C is followed by the letter O, so C makes the k sound, cut. Here, C is followed by the letter U, so C makes the k sound, cut. Cat, cot, cut. But if the letter C is followed by the letter E, the letter I, or the letter Y, then C makes the S sound. It does not make the K sound. Here C, E, C is followed by E. This is scent. Here C is followed by I, and this word is city. Here C is followed by Y, and this word is symbol. Scent, city, symbol. I will talk about this sound, S, in another video. Okay? So for this video, I'll be talking about the K sound and not the S sound. The letter C, when followed by H, can make the K sound. At the beginning of some words, CH does sound like K. Here are two examples, the word chemistry and the word character. Both make the sound K with CH. However, it is more common for CH to make another sound, and that is ch, as in child. CH can also occasionally make a sh sound, as in charade. But I will not be talking about these two sounds in this video. I am talking about the k sound, okay? The letter C can make the K sound when C is followed by the letter L. Here are two examples. Clean. Class. So in each of these, the letter C is followed by the letter L. Clean. Class. The letter C can also make the K sound when followed by the letter R. C plus R makes K, as in the word cream and the word cry. I'd like to make a few more comments about the letter C. And those comments are about when we have two C's together in a word, followed by either an A, an O, or U. In words such as these three, occasion, account, and occur, the two C's make one K sound. Okay? These are the same letters that I mentioned previously. When C is followed by any one of these letters, it usually makes a K sound. Well, it's the same thing here except we have two C's in these words. So when two C's are followed by any of these letters, we get the same sound, okay? This is occasion, account, and occur, all right? One K sound. However, when we have words with two C's followed by an E or an I, 
we often get two sounds. We get a k and a s. Earlier, I said that if we have one C followed by an E or an I, it usually makes the s sound. In these examples, these words have two letter C's. The first C makes the k sound. The second C makes the s sound. Okay? So please listen to these words. This is accent. Accent. So the first C makes a k sound. Ac. The second C makes a s sound. Cent. Accent. Here's another example. Success. Suck. Sess. So the first C makes a k. The second C makes a s. Success. And my last example is vaccine. 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 Okay? And here is a very common exception to that rule. This is the word soccer. In this word, the two C's are followed by the letter E, like here. But here, the two C's do not make k, s. Instead, they just make one k sound. So this is the word soccer. Okay? The letter K makes the k sound. Here I have it in some example words. I have kick, keel, and kit. Notice here, kick has the letter K at the beginning and at the end, and both of them make the k sound. However, if the letter K is followed by the letter N, then it does not make the k sound. Instead, it makes the n sound, like the letter N. K plus N makes the n sound. It does not make a k sound. Here are some examples. This is knick-knack, kneel, knit. So in each of these words, with the K-N, we do not hear K. This is Nick, Knack. This K, I hear as a K, and this K, I hear as a K. But this one, I don't hear. It's N, Nick. The K is silent. Here, I don't hear this. The K is silent. It's Knack, knick knack. In this word, kneel, the K is silent. The sound is n, kneel. And in this word, the K is silent. This is knit, knit. I have chosen these words because I wanted to compare them with the words above. K-I-C-K is kick, but K-N-I-C-K is nick. Notice the spelling is the same except for the letter N. K-E-E-L and K-N-E-E-L are the same except for the letter N. This one does not have an N, so it's k, keel. This one does have an N, so it's kneel, no k sound. K-I-T and K-N-I-T are the same except for the letter N. So this one without the N is kit with the k sound. This one with the letter N is knit. There's no k sound. So in this video, I will be talking about the k sound. I will not be talking about the n sound.
Okay? The letter Q makes the K sound. The letter Q plus the letter U at the beginning of a word usually sounds like qu. It usually sounds like the k sound plus the w sound. Qu. Here are some examples. I have the word quit, quiz, and question. So again, when Q is followed by U at the beginning of a word, it usually makes qu, the k plus the w sound, okay? Quit, quiz, question. Q plus the letters U-E at the end of a word usually makes a k sound without w. Here's an example. Technique. Technique. So here, Q-U-E makes a k sound. Technique. Up here, though, at the beginning of a word, Q-U-E made qu. K plus w. At the end of this word, Q-U-E just makes a k sound. The letter X can make the k sound. The letter X always makes two sounds. It can make k plus s, or it can make g plus z. In this video, I will be talking about the letter X when it makes the k plus s sounds. Together, these sound something like x, okay? And X makes these two sounds in these three words. This is excite, explain, extra. In many words where X is followed by the letter C or the letter P or the letter T, the X does sound like X, okay? Not in every word though. Remember we can have X as in the word exam. There are even a few words, there are a small number of words that can make either of these sounds. I won't be talking about those in this video, okay? In this video, I'll be talking about words that do make the x sound. In addition to these words, words that end in the letter x usually make the x sound, as in the word tax, t-a-x, or relax, okay? Let's move on. So far, we have seen that the sound k can be made with the letters C, K, Q, and X. Here are all of the words that I've given you so far. Let's take another look at them. The letter C sounds like K when C is followed by the letter A or the letter O or the letter U. We have cat, cot, cut. The letter C can sound like K when it is followed by H, L, or R. Remember though, especially with the CH, this does not um, mean it sounds like K 100% of the time. It only sounds like K in some words. In other words, it has other sounds. But here are some examples. We have chemistry, K, 
character, clean, class, create, cry. In each of these words, C makes the K sound. I also have a C with a K sound here. I didn't underline it because it's not CH, CL, or CR, but it still makes the K sound. The letter K makes the K sound in each of these words. Kick, keel, kit. Remember that if the letter K is followed by the letter N, it does not make the K sound. Okay? Do you remember which sound it makes? It makes the N sound. Okay? The letter Q makes the K sound. At the beginning of a word, QU usually sounds like Q as the K sound plus the W sound. We have quit, quiz, question. At the end of a word, Q-U-E usually sounds like K. Technique. Technique. The letter X makes the K sound with the S sound. It makes K S. K S. In many words, not all words, but in many words, we have excite. Explain. Extra. So, these are all the words that I gave you previously. Let's go on and I'll show you some more examples. Okay? Here are some more examples of words containing the K sound. The words in this column have K at the beginning of the word. The words in this column have K in the middle of the word. And the words in this column have k at the end of the word. Please practice seeing these with me. Okay? Let's go. Calendar. Calendar. Country. Country. Culture. Culture. Chaos, chaos, climb, climb, crowd, crowd, key, key, quality, quality, okay? Uh, notice, please, that I have underlined the letter or letters that make the k sound. And also, please notice in this word that I did not pronounce the letter B. Uh, if you have a question about that, you might want to take a look at my video about the sound of b. But in this word, we don't pronounce B. Okay? So this was climb. Let's continue on to the next column. Please practice saying these words with me. Jacket. Jacket. Second. Second. Because. Because. Orchid. Orchid. Technology. Technology. Equal. Equal. Inquire. Inquire. 
exercise, exercise, okay? How are you doing? <laughs> doing all right? Okay. Um, let's see, please notice in this word, I have both the letter C and the letter K. They only make one K sound, okay? Jacket, jacket. And let's go on to the next column, okay? Please practice saying these words as well. Ask, ask. Awake, awake. Basic, basic. Music. Music, ache, ache, stomach, stomach, critique, critique, unique, unique, okay? Now, I was exaggerating the K sound a little bit at the end of each of these words because I wanted to be sure that you could hear that K sound. We don't usually exaggerate it as much as I did, but it does have to be there, so please be sure to make the K sound. Uh, also, please notice in this word that the last letter of the word is E. However, the last sound and the word is k. Awake. Awake. We do not pronounce the letter e at the end of that word. Please also notice that these two words end in ic. We do have many words that end in these letters, and they normally make the k sound at the end. With this word, this is another word that ends in the letter e but the letter E is silent, so we do not pronounce it. This word is ache, ache. It ends in the k sound. Notice this common word, stomach, stomach. When we put these two words together, we could say stomach ache, stomach ache. And both instances of the CH do make the k sound, okay? And notice with these, these two words, the Q-U-E at the end just made a k sound. So it says, so we do not hear the U and the E, okay? Earlier, I said, try not to confuse the k sound with the g sound. Do you remember that? Okay. <laughs> the reason I said that is because these two sounds are very similar and they are made in a similar way, but they are different sounds, okay? Remember I said the k sound is a voiceless sound. That means that my vocal cords do not vibrate when I make this sound. But the g sound is a voiced sound, so my vocal cords do vibrate when I make this sound, okay? Another difference between these two sounds, you remember what it is? Another difference is that k releases a stronger puff of air when we make the sound. When we make g, we do release a puff of air, but it's much less air than for k, okay? Where the air is less strong, we can't hear it as much, okay? Um, I have several columns of words here for us to practice. The words in these two columns have the sound at the beginning of the word. In these columns, the sound is at the end of the word. And in this last part, the sound is in the middle of the word. Let's practice, okay? We're going 
the words sound the same other than the initial or beginning sound. Okay? Please practice with me. Came. Game. Coat. Goat. Could. Good. Class. Glass. Crate. Great. Okay. We're going to do it again, but I would like to say that these two words, great and great, are pronounced exactly alike. Okay? They are spelled differently, but the pronunciation is the same. Let's practice all these again. Okay, remember, we're trying to distinguish between k and g. K does not have vocal cord vibration. G does have vocal cord vibration. Okay? K, g. Please repeat. Came. Game. Coat. Goat. Could. Good. Class. Glass. Crate. Great. Okay? I bet you didn't have any trouble, did you? <laughs> okay? Let's go to this part. The sounds k and g occur at the end of the, each of these words here. Um, let's see. The vowel sound in the middle of the word, so here the vowel sound is a, and here too, a, the vowel sound will be longer for the words on this side. Okay? So you might notice that while I'm speaking. Please try to notice that, as well as pronouncing k and g. I would like you to try to lengthen the vowel in each of the words on this side. Okay? The reason that the vowels in these words um, are longer is because they are in front of g. G is a voiced consonant. Vowels in front of voiced consonants are longer. They, they take more time. We stretch them out. They are longer than vowels in front of voiceless consonants. Okay? Did you get that? A vowel in front of a voiced consonant. So this vowel, for example, F in front of the voiced consonant G. So E in front of G or F in front of G is longer than F in front of K. Okay? I'm sure you got that. Let's practice pronouncing the words, okay? Back. Bag. Peck. Peg. Pick. Pig. Duck. Dug. Block. Log. Okay, let's try again. Back. Bag. Peck. Peg. Pick. Pig. Duck. Dug. Block. Log. Okay? And let's go to the last four that I have. The sound k occurs in the middle of these words. The sound g occurs in the middle of these words. Okay? Let's practice. Ankle. Angle. Mucky. Muggy. Let's 
Let's do it again. Ankle. Angle. Ankle. Angle. Mucky. Muggy. Mucky. Muggy. Okay? So just a little bit of practice um, with the k sound and the g sound. Let's practice some sentences now containing words with the k sound. Okay? Please practice these with me. The clever clerk counted the cash. The clever clerk counted the cash. The clever clerk counted the cash. Okay? The next one. Candy, cake, and cookies contain many calories. Candy, cake, and cookies contain many calories. Candy, cake, and cookies contain many calories. Okay? Now for the last one. The company considers quality control critical to its operation. The company considers quality control critical to its operation. The company considers quality control critical to its operation. Okay? How did you do with these? Pretty well, I bet. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that it was very useful to you. If you would like more practice with the sound K or with the letters C, Q, K, or X, then please take a look at my word list videos. In those videos, I give you lists of words and expressions using the K sound and using the specific letters, and I give you the opportunity to practice those words and phrases. Okay? Also, if you'd like to be notified of each time I post a new video, then please subscribe to my channel. And that way, you'll know right away when I post a new video. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye.